있고 오! 오! 아! 음! It's so weird! y e h a v e it! 안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하
Okay, here is where we landed with everything. This is cute. This lid snaps on perfect. This one actually does look very pink. Like the coaster was definitely just like straight up red, white, and blue, but this definitely looks a little more pink to it. Uh, this looks so, it looks like a little plasticky, which is like not, not the point, but like the lid just snaps on so good. It's so cute. It's just so crazy. You can just like make one of these. This one was an unexpected possible favorite. Like it just is like such a cute little, little guy. I don't even know. It's so cute. The blue at the bottom, the purple and the blues are just like the straight up winners of all of this. I love this one. The lid is just so cute. I definitely wish that obviously it fit together better, but I mean, what you gonna do for like the decor element of it? So cute. There is this viral, obviously from TikTok, lip product that I'm so annoyed because I think I've probably had before at some point it's from Tarte. It's the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. And I asked on Instagram like what the best hydrating but also pigmented lip products are. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. Um, because right now I've just been using the uh, Fenty Gloss and a lip liner. I've got a Morphe lip liner that's basically the same color as the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Lip Cheat. This one is an iconic nude. And this is like the perfect color, but I just feel like this combination is so drying. I've got a few on my list that I want to try and grab today. I'm not kidding. I'm looking on the app right now, like out of stock at every Sephora in like a 30 month mile radius of where I live. But Ulta, I'm coming for you because apparently there's some at Ulta. So there's an Ulta not too far from where I live that I'm gonna go check out. The other recommendations from Instagram, uh, the Rare Beauty Lip Products, Hourglass Velvet or Tarte Juicy Lip, obviously. Uh, Tarte Plum Sticks, Poppy Color is great, viral right now. Uh, Rare Beauty Dewy Lip Balms. These had a bunch of recommendations. And then the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in the tube, which I think I have. A lot of people recommended doing a lip liner and then like a sheer-ish gloss, which like isn't my favorite because I feel like if you want to overline a little bit, it doesn't quite give you like a proper lip. I'm gonna look for the Rare Beauty uh, Dewy Lip Balms and then also the Tarte Maracuja Plump Sticks. I feel like it's probably also strategic to just like do a little bit like a swipe on the back of my hand so I can find a color that like matches this liner perfectly since this liner matches my lips so perfectly. Um, there's the color though. Maybe I'm just like tooting my own horn but this feels like really smart prep work. Okay, let's shop. Oh my god, mini jackpot. Um, I think I got so lucky. This was a brand new Ulta in like this new little strip mall thing. And I feel like I may have hit the jackpot. They didn't have a ton of testers, which was my biggest issue. So they had a few and there was one color that I really liked. So it's the lip plump in the mixed berry. Um, but then they also have the Juicy Lip Balm in another color that like looks similar on here, but it might be a little too pink, but they didn't have a tester for it. So I thought that I should just, I should, I should seize the moment and my luck in this Ulta that actually had inventory and grab this one. I also um, actually remember really liking butter glosses and then this one too, I feel like went viral forever ago. The NYX Shine Loud Global Citizen a uh, gloss lip product where it's got like the color on this side and then you like lock it in with the gloss on this side. And I think it's like one of those 12 or 16 hour crazy length of time products. Um, so I got this one and then got a butter gloss. Thank God I had that little swatch in my hand because I always forget like how much more of a brownie mocha dark berry color that I kind of skew to because I would never pick these up and be like, oh yeah, these are absolutely my colors. So got those two. And then I also got a Stila. Uh, this is a shimmer liquid lipstick. Oh my God. I had no intention of buying anything that was like a little shimmery, but like, let me swatch this for you. Cause it was so nice. Also, like, <laughs> I took like a really dusty photo of my hand, I'll insert it. I didn't really want to put it in the vlog because your girl desperately needs some moisturizer, but let me show you how shimmery. Oh, you know what? This is not gonna show up on camera, let's see. See, my hand is so disgusting. Can you see the shimmer? You cannot see the shimmer. <laughs> Actually, I feel like I should swatch some of the other ones because again, not all of them had testers. 
Uh, the butter gloss. Oh, this is much more sheer than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, there's the butter gloss. Like you can barely see it. It's this one right here. Um, this is the, oh fuck, was the seal broken on this? I can't tell, I don't think so. This is like the forever wear one. Ooh, yeah, that's a good color. That's a real good color right there. I think that'll match the uh, lip liner perfectly. Okay, so we've got that one. Here's the lip plump. This is the one that I was able to get a tester for. Ooh, shit, that is buttery. It's this one right here. Ooh, that's nice. And then this is the balm, which I think is gonna be much more sheer. So maybe it doesn't quite have to be the exact color. Oh, uh oh, that's gonna be too pink for me for sure. Damn it, this is the one that I couldn't find a tester for. It's still really pretty though. Okay. What was this again? That was such a nice color. Oh, that was the NYX one. That actually might be the best match product that I got. My next few hours are 100% just like sitting here doing work, but I want to try this one. Also, the habit of just like going to twist this is very difficult to not do. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Oh, ah, ooh. Mmm. Ooh, that's pretty nice. I think a little bit pinkier than I would normally go, but it's still like sheer enough where it's not like crazy or anything. Wow, that actually is super like buttery feeling. Okay, wow. A pretty solid success. I'm really happy about this like 16 forever hour long wear one. I think this is gonna be the perfect color. An unexpected win. Okay, let me put the, uh, the like liner next to it. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, here we go. Here's the liner here. Here's the bajillion hour NYX one here. Here are the two Tarte ones. I lied, this is a butter gloss. This is the shimmery one. And then these are the two Tarte ones over here, I think? Did we do that right? Wow, okay, I feel good about this. I wonder if I were to mix a little bit of a darker color as well too, or even if I were to line with like this more like mocha color. Either way, this was wildly successful. I don't want to try on all of them, but this butter gloss is giving me nothing. Like literally nothing. Nothing, it's giving nothing. Okay, well, you know what? Like the unexpected winner of this whole thing was this one. I've got a bunch of dresses for a video that I'm shooting tomorrow. This is like a whole ass gown, oh my god. So I'm gonna start just like getting organized. We're recording a podcast tonight, but I wanna get everything hung up and sorted just so I know where everything is from. So I'm gonna add some very non-aesthetic sticky notes onto hangers so it's all organized. Bubby's incoming, hi Bubby's. Wow, in the light. That's a piece of garbage that you just ate. Okay, delicious. And you spit it back out on my foot. That's so nice. Perks of being a dog mom. I am doing the most today um, because I'm shooting a prom video. Obviously all the dresses that were in the last shot are for today's video. Um, so this is going up this weekend. So I'm sure by the time you're watching this, that video will be coming soon. Um, but before we leave for Kentucky, I'm shooting a video today. I'm shooting a video tomorrow, doing this vlog. We recorded a podcast last night. It's been just a content filled week. Um, so I have nine dresses to try on today. I'm so excited. I feel like I haven't gotten to play like quote unquote dress up in a really long time. So I'm looking forward to shooting today. Also, I just want to apologize because there was very little moose in the last vlog and that is on me. Hi, bubbies. <laughs> Hello, bubbies. Hello. So, <sighs> hair in mouth. Uh, 
Ugh. I haven't had my hair curled in forever. It's been so easy just like managing it while it's been straight. So I haven't really, I haven't really done the curls in a while. Obviously this is like not normally where I part my hair. This is my prom part for today. Um, but I'm feeling like a prom, I don't say queen, I'm feeling like a prom attendee. Not to be confused with a chicken tendee. Oh my God, you guys, you can't see my head. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite dresses. I'm not gonna show you my favorite favorite dress because you have to watch the main channel video, but I need you to see how cute this dress is and like how fun and unique it is. Jeremy said that like it's a nice dress and I look pretty in it, but he said it's basically a dress that like only girls think are like really fun. He said feathers aren't fun. I'm resentful of that because look how fucking fun this dress is. Are you kidding me? This is so fun. It is the definition of fun. But anyways, just finished filming this video. It's going up this Sunday. Um, these sequins are cutting me open over here on the side and I'm excited to take my makeup off. I just feel like I've been doing the most. I'm giving like flapper girl right now kind of in this dress and like with this makeup and this lip. Um, so I'm excited to put some sweatpants and sweater back on, be in my natural habitat. But fucking such a cute dress. I can't wait for you guys to see this video. I'm so excited. Oh, the, the number one dress is like insane. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Yesterday was a shoot day, today was a shoot day, and so I feel like I've been looking much cuter than normal in this vlog. So we can thank the main channel for that. So filming another video today, and I just have to show you this dress. Yesterday was showing you a dress, today showing you another dress in a different style. It's so, let me show you in the light, it's so sparkly. Ooh. Is it just overblown? It's just blown out. You can't even see how sparkly it is. Fuck! Okay, hang on. Let me back up. But I also am having like a weird like blue and gold. No, wait. Blue and black slash white and gold dress altercation. And it's so odd. Let me, let me back you up so you can see. Also, this is not the dress that I'm wearing to the wedding. That would be just so wildly obnoxious. But very cute. It's too big for sure. It's too big. But like, okay, here's like, look at this. You're gonna see this in the main channel video as well too. But that'll be like probably in a week and a half or so from now. But look at how, can you see how it shifts from like yellow to red almost? Can you see, you can definitely see the red right now. You can see a little bit of the yellow. Like it's so weird. The fabric is just so confused on what it wants to do. It's like the undertones of like the weaving or something. It's so weird. That's not like a reflection from other colors. It's just like actually what it's doing. Can you see this? Oh yeah, oh, this is, this is good. You can really see it now. It's so weird. So anyways, that's what's happening today. Um, this is a really cute dress though. <sighs> been running around like an actual psycho. These like two back-to-back -back videos have been absolutely killing me. Um, but they're done now, shooting is done, and we leave for Kentucky. Yeehaw, bitch. People probably don't yeehaw in Kentucky, um, but we leave very soon. We're leaving the house tomorrow at four in the morning, so we have an early flight. I guess you can't fly direct from LAX over to Kentucky. So we're making a stop in Chicago and then going down to Kentucky. So it's a long travel day for not actually going that far, which is not ideal. But I do like just like starting the day with travel and just getting it out of the way because I feel like I get anxious when it's like later in the day. So anyways, I got a bunch of shit to do still. I gotta put some laundry away and continue packing. So that is on the agenda right now. Uh, so cue hopefully a very productive time lapse. I'm pissed I've been so active the last couple days because I've been letting my aura ring charge before we leave for the weekend. So not even getting the points, not the points, but like getting the getting the read on my set. Anyway, okay. Productivity time. <laughs> pretty much packed. I've got the few things over here that I still have to use tonight and tomorrow morning. But for the most part, pretty much packed and conveniently have uh, full stocks 
of travel size dry shampoo and hairspray from our last really fun travel where I forgot my entire makeup bag. So anyways, I've got some uh, great smell. I don't know where I got this. I think it might have been a Sephora sample actually, but um, normally my hair washing schedule would be on points, but it's supposed to be humid as shit in Kentucky. So I think I'm gonna wash my hair maybe Friday morning, wedding is Saturday, not entirely sure. Um, I've officially gone through two of these tubes. I cannot believe I spent so much of my life not using this. If you're gonna try one product to be influenced by, it needs to be this one, oh my God. I've got my face wash in just like a little bottle because my actual face wash is a massive thing. Um, and then I've got my hair washing scrunchies and by hair washing scrunchies, I mean my face washing scrunchies to go like over your wrist so like the water doesn't run down your arms. Best hack I've ever learned. Packed, makeup bag, packed. Double checking, makeup bag, packed. Triple checking, makeup bag, packed. <laughs> oh my God. I made the mistake last time of leaving it like right here on my vanity. So as soon as I was done doing my makeup, I tossed it right into the suitcase because we are not ever going to do that again. Um, but otherwise, I'm pretty much ready to go. I have uh, this little spot here for that big toiletry uh, little travel case. And then for the most part, I've got like extra space and stuff. And this isn't even my big suitcase. I'm really proud of myself. Okay, last thing before I end the vlog. Um, I made a TikTok about this, but I have tried every travel pillow under the sun. If it's on Amazon, I've tried it. I've tried the ostrich, which I found was really hard. Like it just felt like plasticky and like really stiff and hard. Kelsey said that she can sleep all the way to Europe on it, which I just don't fully understand. I've tried one that had like a little massage back thing. I've tried all of just like the regular U-shaped ones, even wearing it like the, the other way, like in the front. And like, I just, I, I've tried all of them. I really have tried all of them. Um, so I got this one, my next victim, and basically, it's like, it's like a, too tight, too tight, but like, this is like, I'm excited. I also don't give a shit about what I look like on the plane. Like I know Jeremy's not super stoked to be seen with me, but I genuinely do not care, especially on a 6 a.m. flight, um, where we have a long day ahead of us. So it's like this, and then you could also make it a little tighter, obviously without going too tight, but like, like, like this feels nice. I could definitely take a nap. If I was kind of leaned back like this, I could for sure fall asleep. It's just enough like structure and support, but then also like cozy and soft that I could definitely snooze. So review to come. Um, and with that being said, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm launching the Discord on Monday. I'm so excited. I will drop the invite code on Monday. I'm very excited, I've been working on it forever. Um, and so that's happening on Monday. So I'll probably see you for another vlog before then, or maybe another vlog on Monday uh, to celebrate the launch of the Discord. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, love you. I look ridiculous and I'm so excited to look like this tomorrow in public with Jeremy.